الخم الله يا اخي اهو في نور مجنون هذا مجنون توداي يوم المجانين مان يا يا جيب لي ذا انا انا درت شنو مي قهوه يا اخي قهوه اخي دعال جيم بلات ديس بيس بلات لا ما في قوه ما ابدا خويا ما كاش مشكل مع خويا ما لا ابدا خويا ما لا 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 ان شاء الله الله اكبر يلوى هي وان شويت اواي تو ذا بوينت ريبيت اجين And there arose not a prophet since in Israel like unto Moses, whom the Lord knew face to face. Face to face. So since then, there was no prophet like Moses. Mm -hmm. That it's impossible for Moses to write it because he's speaking about there was a long gap. No one become like Moses. Mm -hmm. Do you agree with that? Yeah. Okay. How this has been written by Moses when it's way after Moses? The thing is, only the Talmud says that it was written by Moses. Is this Torah? Yes, it's Torah. Given to Moses? Yes, given to. Well, not. Well, it was written. It, what, what, well, what, what? Come on, brother. It was. It, no, 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 Abda. No, Joshua. No, no. No, no, Abda wrote it. It never said that Moses wrote it. No, no, no. It never said you, know, you, know, you know what is it? Yeah? No, no, wait, wait, wait. You know what is worse? You know what is worse? Yeah? He's right. Some scholars said, Joshua. Yeah. Some scholars said, no, it was a prophecy. Yeah. They don't know. They don't know what happened. But guess what? If you go to the next chapter, It's about Joshua. Even Joshua, who's supposed to be written, the next chapter, he says, and Joshua died in this place. And Joshua, it was such a, such a, So in every chapter, every prophet, it's been written about him, how long he died, and how, how long, that cannot be the same prophet the book was given to him. My point here is, look, as a Muslim, I believe in the Torah, yeah. but I don't believe this corrupted Torah. I can give you eternal proofs, it's corrupted, external proof, it's corrupted. Let me give you external proof it's corrupted, yes? After eternal proof. This Torah, this book was not given to you directly. Do you agree with that? It wasn't given directly, yes. Direct, okay. The original version. The original, yeah. the, the, the Torah that was given to Moses was not given to you directly, correct? Yes, okay. Correct, correct. The Bible that you have is King James. Yeah. Okay, King James is based upon a manuscript that was written 1,000 years after Moses. Pectus Receptus. Yes, so basically what happened, Someone came 1,000 years after Moses. We don't know his name. We don't know nothing about him. He started writing, Moses did this. Moses said that. However, between him and Moses, 1,000 years. Excuse me, listen. Imagine I tell you Moses said this, mm -hmm. and Moses did that. Would you believe me? No. Why? Because firstly, I have no reference. Mm -hmm. Secondly, you don't know me if I'm trustworthy or a liar. Exactly. Thirdly, between me and Moses, thousands of years. Do you know who wrote that manuscript? Uh, I have no idea for the Texas Receptus. Yeah, do you know who wrote it? No. Who? Is it trustworthy? Probably not. Can you trust him? No. So where are you trusting this book? I'm not trusting this book. This is the only, this is, this book, yeah. So you don't trust this book? No, this book is just for reference. I've got no, I'm this, asking, I've do, got, do you trust this book? No, I've only trust the Septuagint. So Septuagint was written by who? Um, it says right here, even the translators themselves, yeah, they said, um, they said here that the Lord stirred up the spirit of a Greek, Greek prince, even on Ptolemy, uh, Fidel, king of Egypt to procure the translating of the book of God out of Hebrew into Greek. And this was a pre-Christian translation. I understand that, but who, who, who do you know them? Huh? Do you know them? Well, it's record. I don't know them, but it was recorded. No, but do you know them? I, I can record. I can record today in speaker's corner, such and such things happen. Doesn't yeah. mean I'm saying the truth, does it? It doesn't mean you're okay. The so truth. therefore, well, you know them. Are they trustworthy? I don't. I don't have to know them to trust them because at the end of the day, okay. Um, because so, as it says here, okay. cursed is the man that trusts in man. I don't put my trust in men. So who? who okay. I put my trust in the facts and the facts. Who, uh, the translators? The, I don't know. Uh, the, trans, the translators. Yeah. Were they not men? They were. They were men. So what you trusted them for? They pub. They published the book. But they you just said to me, cursed be open the man who trusts in man. They published the word of God. I understand that. How do you know they were? They, they, uh, sorry, I have to cut you because yeah, I want to pin you down. Yeah, yeah, I have yeah. respect, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah? The translators no worries, no worries. that translated that scripture in Hebrew to Greek, yeah. are they men? Yes. Do you trust them? No, I don't trust them. Okay. I don't trust so their opinions. You don't trust them. So therefore, no, no, no. I, you don't trust them who they translated. I don't, okay. I don't, I don't so trust their translation. Their translation. But no, now. No, sorry, I don't. I don't trust You're struggling, man. I know. Well, I have respect not just you. Even the rabbis struggle. Huh? 
That's why look for Islam, Quran, look. You know, so I'll I, I show you, i show you. Look, look, forget all of this. English ain't really my first language, I'm, that's all. What language, language are you speak? Uh, I'm, I'm come from uh, Ghana, so... So what language do you speak? Yeah, I should speak three, but I lost that language. Were you born here? Uh, no, I was born, I was born in, in your house. Europe, in your European country. Okay, no, 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 English is my third language. Yeah. Okay? All right. But I still understand what we're talking about. Yeah, Don't try to utilize this excuse. I'm not English utilizing, is, I'm just but saying. No, you are. You said English is my language. My point here is, though, just you just said, what's your name, by the way? Uh, uh, my signal is Michael. Michael, my name is Shamsi, yeah? yeah? Michael, you seem like a, a respectful person. What I would say to you, Michael, yeah? You just told us here in front of everyone, mm -hmm. curse be upon the man who trusts a man. Yeah. My question was to you, be consistent with this passage. Yeah. The translators, they were a man. Therefore, logically, logic dictates you should not trust them because if you do trust them, you'll be cursed. But I'm not and trusting in them, but I'm accepting what they've said is true because it actually correlates to what I experience on a day-to-day -day basis. How? And, and also the evidence which has come. It's like saying... Wait, wait, wait. They're like speaking saying, about the past. How is copy? Wait, wait. wait. How? Stuff, stuff like prophecy and all that kind of stuff. So, for example, yeah, it, um, I can't say I don't trust... I can't say, okay, I don't trust in man, but there's uh, there's an account which was written by man which uh, stated, oh, uh, this and this happened at this and this time. Is and it possible they lied? That. Is it possible they lied? Very, it, it can be, it's possible that they can lie. Then, no, no, I ask you, because you said to me, look, bro, uh, it's simple. Yeah. If you trust a man, yeah. you are going and get your Bible, because your Bible said, curse be on a man who trusts a man. But, they, no, no, the Bible didn't specify it. If they give you their opinion or they translate, no. Man trusts another man is being cursed. I don't accept that. That's what you said. But now, now be consistent. The of, it's the opinion no, no. of man, the be, man be, itself. Be consistent, be consistent. I'm but asking, oh, because, yeah. because we, we need to That's have the opinion. The translation of a man is coming from a man himself too. Not really. Where is it coming from? A tree? It came, it, it came from the creator. And then... No, the guy's translating. He utilized, for example, they have an Arabic. Yeah. I can translate it as went or gone. It's for me to choose which words I'm going to utilize to translate the word Adahaba in Arabic language, in English language, utilizing it. Now, it's not God. He's the one who translated it. I translated it. Yeah. I chose the wordings, yeah? So the translators, they chose the wordings. That's what Allah said in the Quran. Let me bring you to the book of Allah. Which is like, wait, wait, wait. Allah, you know what Allah said? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, يَسْمَعُونَ كَلَامَ اللَّهِ ثُمَّ يُحَرِّفُونَ مِن بَعْدِ مَا عَقَلُوهِ They hear the speech of the, of the Israelites. They hear the speech of Allah and they change it while they're hearing the speech of Allah. Either from Moses directly or when Allah spoke to Moses, yes? While they're hearing it, they're changing it, you understand? My point here is, when you come to the Quran, the Quran is so miracle. The miracle of the Quran is so powerful. Do you know why? The Quran says, Allah mentioned the Quran, وَلَقَدْ يَسَّنَّ الْقُرْآنَ لِلذِّكْرِ فَهَلْ مِنْ مُدَّكِرِ We have made Quran easy to be memorized. Is there any remembrance? And now, this is the claim. Allah claimed that he will make the Quran easy to be memorized. Can we verify this claim? Yes. In, Al in Africa, in Asia, in Europe, in Australia, in America, everywhere. A hundred million of Muslims, children, not as scholars, scholars they know the Quran. Children memorize the Quran word for word and letter for letter. Rather, the miracle of the Quran, sometimes you go to Africa and Asia, not Arab countries, they don't even speak Arabic language. Yet, they have the Quran word for word, letter for letter. It's like you and I, so let me hold it. Yeah. It's like you and I, we don't speak Chinese whatsoever. Yeah. No one speaks Chinese here, yes? It, this book is in Chinese. Mm -hmm. But we memorize this book word for word, letter for letter, and we're pronouncing the wording and the letters perfectly. Mm -hmm. That is a miracle. Mm -hmm. You accept that? Maybe. No, maybe you accept that. You've done no, it, no, the no, truth. No, okay. No, no. okay, tell me which book it has been memorized by thousands of people, but those people don't speak the language of the book. Look, basically, what anyone can memorize... No, no, I didn't ask you about anyone. Tell me which book it has been memorized by thousands of people who do not speak the language of the book. Name one book. I don't know that except for the Quran. Barakallah, because I tell you, may Allah, hadakallah, may Allah guide you. Yeah, hadakallah. Hadakallah, may Allah guide you to the truth. Okay? Yeah, listen to me, what I'm saying. What I'm saying, this verse, Allah, that verse I mentioned, there's not a verse support it. Inna nahnu nazzalna dhikra wa inna lahu lahafidun. We send down the Quran and we will preserve it. There's another claim. Can we verify that claim? This claim is a prophecy. How? If the Jews, the Christians, the Muslims, all of us, we said, you know what? Let's burn our scriptures. Let us burn it. The only scripture that will remain with us is what? The Quran. You know who can bring it back into the written form? Not the Muslim scholars, 
The Muslim schools know that. The Muslim children, the age of 9, 10, they can bring it into the written form. Your Bible, if all the Bible's been uh, uh, burned, your scholars, they have even more as one chapter from the Gospel of John. How can you compare, man? Allahu Akbar, how can you compare? All right. So Look, this book, you don't know how wrote it. You don't know, but we know the Quran. Quran right, is a living no, thing. Man. All right, all right, all right. So, if your book is so perfect, why is there lots of contradictions? The Quran has contradictions? Yes. Okay. Can that, I give you a contradiction? Yeah, give me one. Okay. So, in chapter 359, the creation of Adam. Indeed, the example of Jesus. Uh, Jesus? What is it? Yeah, J is uh, is a new letter. It's actually uh, ah, no, no, yes, it's Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, because in, in Latin Jesus yeah. and in Greek Jesus yeah, and English Jesus, Jesus. Yeah, but back to Hebrew. There was no J. Was y. Yeah, with no I. It was I no don't know I about that because Hebrew language again was lost, so we don't know. Yeah, yeah, true, yeah. true, yeah, yeah. True, true, true. Smile at time. Um, so. like I did. Jesus to God. Is like that of Adam. Yeah. The similitude of Allah, of Jesus with Allah, is like Adam yeah. creating from the dust and said, Be and he was. You see, Mumuraz, Alhamdulillah. Okay. You're struggling to read, I'm Mumuraz, Alhamdulillah. Alright. You don't need to read over here, Alhamdulillah. And then chapter 25, chapter 25, 54, and it is he who has created created from water. Yeah. Human being. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's a good question. So now he's asking. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to create Adam from a dust. Allah is speaking about Adam. But in the other chapter, Allah some speaks about a man, us, from a water, from the sperm. You understand? So there's a contradiction. You have to look at the context. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned that. And sometimes Allah mentioned about Adam, stage how it's created. Like for example, sorry, for example, I said this, it's made from plastic. Yeah. Then I say it's made from iron. It's made from uh, uh, other, uh, uh, what do you call it, particles. Doesn't mean I'm contradicting myself. I'm just showing you stages of the creation of the camera. Likewise, in the Quran, Allah is showing us the stages of our, how Adam was created. So it's created from water and clay. Yeah, and the clay, that's correct. No, 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 from a dust and water. When you put dust and water, what happens? It becomes what? Thank you very much. So there's no contradiction. No, 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 all right, it's left, left, left. <laughs> All right, and but you know, dealing with my problem though, with my issue. What was your issue? Bro, before you go to the contradiction of Quran, firstly, you yeah. just know the contradiction because yeah. firstly, you have to tell me, bro. When you. Huh? Just tell him what you eat here. No, no, but no, no. Firstly, I just demonstrate to you with a rational argument. Okay, so thank you very much. I, I accept that. Yeah. And we're here to teach, alhamdulillah. You know, that's what we're here for, to cooperate right. with Islam. Mm -hmm. What we say to you, bro? Wallahi, I swear by Allah, the creator of everything, that you know. If you utilize your sound reasoning mm -hmm. and your natural inclination and leave the f outside factors mm -hmm. which are going to affect your psychological or social factors, mm -hmm. you know by nature that Islam is the truth. When you come to Islam, yeah, Allah is one. The oneness of God in Islam is so perfect. The Most High is one. No, I understand that. But you're, the Most High that you're speaking about yeah. in the Bible, He regrets. Who regrets? God. God regrets Himself. Yeah, go Samuel. Go Samuel 15. Yeah. I, uh, you know, Alhamdulillah, you know Muslims, they memorize the Quran, they memorize the Bible too. <laughs> this is crazy, subhanAllah. You know, subhanAllah, Allahu Akbar. <laughs> um, but, no, no, he's, he's, he's my. Wallahi, I thought, you know what? I, when, I, when I spoke to the second guy, when I spoke to the second guy, yeah, I thought, uh, why did I come? But when I'm speaking to you now, I said, Alhamdulillah, I came. Respectful person, we are here to establish truth, yes. Samuel, 15, to, uh, 15, where is it, 15? Uh, it's one, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let read it. And so. Is it one Samuel or two Samuel? No, no, one, yes. And so said. Yeah, so said. They have brought them from the Amalekites, for the people spared the best of the sheep and of the oxen to sacrifice unto the Lord thy God. And the Why do you have this hard has... English, man? Huh? He's a, he said the English is not first language. He's reading the, you know, old English, Czech Spirit English. That's what he's reading. <laughs> But you should have to say English in the first language. And it's you, not, it's not. Yeah, I'm joking. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> and I've utterly, and the rest we have utterly destroyed. So, and then where, where do I go on from here? All right. Keep uh, on going. Uh, sorry, hold this. Okay. Yeah. It's the first Samuel, yeah? First Sam, yeah. Samuel, okay? And so I said, window, the little nine. No, no, that's, I think it's the second one there. Okay, second. Yeah, yeah. Let me get the second one, 15, yeah? Yeah. Allahu Akbar. Allah has, today Allah has bring us straight away. Allahu Akbar. Uh, where is 15, bro? No, no, 15. Next one, next one. Yeah, next one. Okay. 
No, no, chapter 15. Oh, cha yeah, chapter 15. Yeah. Look. Chapter 15. Yeah, 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 chapter 15. That's just, that's just you came to, okay, turn. Oh, this, you, bro, this is, okay, get, get no more English one, man. This English is too hard to read it. Let me get, get some you, one shot. Get some you, I'll get you an English, no more one. Bring in some old English, Shakespeare's English. It's some you one, that's what I know, some you. I'll show you when he says, anyway, you look for it, I'm going to quote it. Go some you one. So in some you says, so, so, uh, God said to, so, uh, to, um, uh, to Samuel to say to Saul, God anoint you king over the Israelites. Now hear the voice of God. Go kill the Malachites. Don't spare them. Could you kill the babies? Kill the children, women, mm -hmm. infants. You know the verse, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kill all of them, which is not from God. God doesn't tell us to kill the babies. Why? Yes, he because, does. Yes, no, no, he wait, does. wait. Let me finish telling you why. Right, right. Okay. God will never tell you, God will never tell you to kill a baby for something that happened 500 years ago. That's injustice because those babies has nothing to do with what happened 500 years ago. God, he said clearly why. He said, go kill those babies, infant, bro, you know why it's infant? Yep. Few months old. Yep. Go kill them, slaughter them alive. Why? Because the Malachites the, uh, uh, abused the Israelites when they were coming out of Egypt. Yep. Yeah? yeah? Then he goes on. Then he says, I, the Lord, greatly regret for choosing Saul as a king because he turned his back on me. So your God regrets his own action. When you regret your own action because you didn't know the outcome of it. And the, the, the context already explained itself that he regrets his own action because Saul turned his back on him. God doesn't know regret. Regret is deficiency. He can Re regret, he can repent his creation. If, he, if, it, if the creation didn't follow to his expectation, he can repent that. Who repent? Oh, well, that's what well, I'm using old English. So, well, God repent. Repent, repent or uh, why is he repent? When you make a mistake, yeah, uh, he's like feel sorry for what he's done. No, yeah, you make because you make a mistake, yeah, he made a mistake. So, God made a mistake. I mean, well, not make a mistake, but like he the person made the mistake, no. and and he, obviously he was supposed to be perfect in the sight of the creator. No, it's not to say that he, the creation made a mistake. Yeah, he creator. said, God, God regrets for his own action, not the human action. God regret for choosing. Yeah. Who's, who chose? Yeah, he, he, regret, he regretted to choose him. Yeah, yes. so who regret? He, the Most High. His own action? Yes, he regret, he regret the action because he felt that um, that Samuel was going to be perfect, but he wasn't perfect. So he didn't know? He, technically, yes, he didn't know. So therefore, he, 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 he's he, knew, not a, he knew, but he didn't know because it says... He knew, but he didn't know. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh, I'll, I'll, tell you, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. Because the Most High, He knows the paths of all men. He knows the paths of no, all men. No, that He knows everything in details. He knows everything in, in details. details. He knows the paths of all men. Yeah? But He doesn't know what path you're going to choose. That's why you have free will. So He does not everything. He knows everything, but He's giving you... It's no, like, wait, wait. He knows everything, okay. but He doesn't know his, the path that you're going to choose. Yeah, that's, if he why, knows, yeah, that's why He gave you So He doesn't know everything. Technically, he knows everything. No, no, no. You're he, he doesn't know everything. everything. Technically, that you say does not everything. Well, technically, he does because if he creates bro, bro, will, bro. He, if, wait, 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 wait. if God doesn't know where I'm gonna go now, yeah. which path I'm gonna take, he knows which path you're gonna. So take. he knows. He knows everything then. Yes, he knows everything. So wait, 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 no, no, stop, stop, stop. If he knows everything, did he know that Paul is gonna turn on him? Technically, yes. But he said uh, he regrets it. Yes, he regret he regrets choosing him because he was gonna go he was gonna go the wrong way. He was gonna well, go No 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 God regrets his own action, brother. Yeah. I'm not talking I mean what's your name again? Michael. Michael. God regrets his own action, Michael. I'm not talking about God regretting someone else's action, even that yeah. doesn't make any sense. God is regretting his own action. So when you regret your own action, what does that mean? Mean regret you didn't know the outcome of it and you should have done that. That is not he, God's no, nature. Doesn't mean, he doesn't mean he didn't know the outcome of it. He just he just felt that he didn't he shouldn't have done that. He sh why he shouldn't have done that? Because he was wrong. Because because Saul went away. Because, Saul got no, no, no. Why God felt he should not, not he should not done that? Why? Because Saul went away. Okay, well he so he didn't know that he's gonna go away. He knew he knew the path which Saul could have chose. Yeah. But he chose the wrong path. No, and this, forgot about Paul, uh, Saul. Yeah. God regrets on action. Yeah. No, God is not saying, Saul, I regret you went this way. No, God is regretting that he chose him. Yeah, because he went on the wrong way. Okay, he went the wrong way. Did he yeah. God know that? Well, he, he found out. He found, okay, he didn't know that then, because found out means he didn't know before. Yeah. Technically, yeah. He didn't know that? No, yeah, he didn't know. But does God has perfect knowledge? 
He has perfect knowledge. Yeah, so go to has perfect knowledge. Wait, wait, wait. Look at this contradiction. That's what I'm going to show you. Okay. Bro, don't trust this book. Inshallah, you become Muslim today. Inshallah. Wallah, Islam yeah, makes nah. sense. It's not a joke. So. No, no, it's I'm, not serious. Am I looking to it? Yeah, look into it, inshallah. But seriously, yeah. look, watch this, watch this, watch this, Michael, yeah? Michael, listen to this, yeah? You told me, you know, you know what, what, what distinguishes Islam from any religion? Islam goes in line with our universal knowledge. Yeah. What is universal knowledge? Our sound reasoning. Naturally, likewise, natural inclination. Naturally, intellectually, we know God is perfect in everything. You don't have to learn that. God put it within us. You understand that? So if God put it in, within us, we know that, even through scripture we know that, then we say God is perfect in knowledge, but he didn't know something that cannot be the same God who knows everything. That is a paradox because God's knowledge has no pre-ignorance. He has no forgetfulness. It's perfect all the time. So why did he why did he create Adam and why did he allow him to why did he allow him to sin? That doesn't mean he doesn't know. That's a test. Exactly. But, no, but and, God, and God, and but God never regrets. God, God tests. No, 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 no. And he can you mix it. No, no, no. God never. God has feelings, you know. No, wait, 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 wait. God never regrets for creating Adam. Allah never. That's he your didn't, Bible. He didn't no, no, no. Allah, no, Allah. Never, it never says he regrets. He, regret. he said he looked upon the earth and he regrets creating the earth. He, he never said he. Uh, he regrets. Shall I show you Genesis? Go to well, Genesis. Hold on. He never, he never regrets uh, creating Adam. I'm saying. No, create the he, people. He regrets. Go to Genesis. Yeah, he, re he, he, re he regretted all the people he created during that time. Yeah, the when, people. Yeah, when the fallen angels were born again. Again, what is regret? Woman. Regret when we don't know the outcome of something. I will yeah. tell you. You know, you know, Michael. You know who wrote this Bible? Those who wrote the Bible, the Old Testament, clearly they were affected by paganism. Clearly, I, I, I'm going to demonstrate to you one by one. You know about building the towers, yeah. the tall towers, yeah? Mm -hmm. How languages came about? Uh, through the uh, through the Most High who, um, who afflicted uh, language in the Tower of Babel. No, so uh, no, no, can you tell them? Be, be honest, be sure. open. I'm How we came about? How we came about? God, they said, God, that's what it says in Genesis, yeah? God looked upon the earth and he saw people speaking one language. The correct? language of creation. Yeah, spoken one language. Yeah. And they start building two, two buildings. Yeah, to reach and, up to, uh, to heaven. Yeah, to that's, become like you know that, that's a Sumerian belief. Sumerian, they were pagans, they believe that if you build two buildings, you can reach the heaven and you overthrow God. But no way, no way, because if God thinks that human, because you know the sky is too high. There's no way you can reach God. That shows you, that shows you, the God of the Bible, he didn't even know the distance between the earth and the sky. No. He thought the people are able to reach him. It's a mistranslation. It's not what the, it's not the action itself. It's what the action says to God. Nimrod said to himself, I shall be above the creator of the universe. No, I'm not even asking God. about that. I'm asking when God, let me finish this passage. That's yeah? what it's about. No, 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 no. The passage, no, the passage, go read it. Go read it for the people. Because you don't want to say, I'm misquoting you. Read the Bible, we'll go back to it. He looked upon the earth. He said, people are speaking one language. Yep. They are building two buildings. Nothing can stop them. Nimrod so what happened? What? Of course, I'm Nimrod. Yeah. But what, what God did? He came yeah. and he caused confusion. Uh, between the languages. Yeah, because he was, he was afraid that the people speaking one language and they're building, they're building two towers. This, this statement doesn't go in line with our sound reasoning. No, no. Look the Quran, look the Quran. The Quran Allah spoke about how he destroyed the Thamud. No, Thamud. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Allah doesn't know fear the outcome of it because Allah is the greatest and that goes in line with your sound reasoning. He it goes in line with the natural inclination. The Most High didn't fear nothing. Why? He, saw, he saw that the man was coming too prideful. Okay. So he wanted to afflict what they were because it was their goal to actually reach the tower. Read the passage, read the passage. All right, all right. Read the passage, please. When God looked up on the earth to know that this, by the way, you can check the Sumerians because Sumerians uh, uh, came before the, the Bible, the, uh, the Torah and everything. Sumerian pagans, they used to believe if you build two towers, you can reach God and you offer overthrow God. And the Bible, the rights of the Bible, clearly they took that from them. And it shows you that they didn't know that the sky and God is above the creation. You cannot reach him but by building towers, of course. But they think by building towers, you can reach God. Read it, read it to people. All right. So it says here, uh, verse 4, and they said, Go, 
to let us build us a city and a tower whose top may reach unto heaven. Let's make us a name. Let, let's uh, we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. And the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men builded. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one, and they have all one language. And this they begin to do. And now nothing will be restrained from them. Wait, wait, go back, go back. Go back, watch this. He says, look what he says. He said, he said, Lord, he said, people who are speaking one language. Yeah. Yes. And they start building tall buildings. Yeah. And nothing can what? Nothing will be restrained from them. That's not correct. That's, that's, that, yes, incorrect. Well, it's just the translation. If I had the section, So the translation, they're lying. Well, it's, it's not. The, the English they use is just very, in, like, in, uh, this inconsiderate. Is, that, you can't, you know, look, I respect you, yeah, eh, Michael. Yeah, you can't even, no, 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 so it's, huh? Michael. You cannot even go back to the translation because I will show you something. Moses was in Egypt, correct? Yeah. And he was 500 years in Egypt, the Israelites. Yeah. Yes? Oh, and 430. 400 years. They were enslaved, yeah. they were cut from their languages, everything, yeah? yeah. And now, even what language Moses spoke, you cannot trace it back. That's why Quran is so special because the Quran that I'm reciting right now in the local Arabiya, in the Arabic language, is the same Quran that Prophet Muhammad was reciting out. It's the same Quran that Allah spoke with. It's the same Quran that Jibreel heard and conveyed it to Prophet Muhammad. The Torah that you have, even if you go back to the Greek translation, you can trace it back to its original. Yeah, because that, the language was lost. That's what I'm saying. So yeah. we cannot really but know the, what Moses said. No, okay, because it, it makes was, sense. No, it was it was written down in ancient Phoenician Hebrew inscriptions, right? No, even even that is not is not you. You're talking about way after yeah. Moses' time. But it happens. The language, language is lost. That's what I'm saying. So yeah. therefore, we cannot really, okay, okay, Habibi, we cannot really know what Moses said because the language of Moses he spoke with is lost. We cannot we disappeared. Barakallahu. We cannot know. The only type thing to know no, to go. The, the Jews in or the Israelites in that bloodline, they they um their language evolved and they were able to speak a modern ancient Phoenician Hebrew. Or, I'm talking about Moses. I'm talking about after. You talk about after. You talk about after. Moses' time. That's but, why. But it was transferred. No, it wasn't. It wasn't transferred like that. It was. Yeah, it was. Bro, yes, it the was. manuscript is based upon. Well, so let me remind you again. Let me remind you. How old is Dead School? Um, many, thousands of years. After who? After. Moses, it's out as well. Yeah, after Moses, yeah. Long time after Moses. Yeah. Who wrote them? Um, the sect called the Sons of Light or something like Are that. Are they trustworthy? They could be. They, they're right. The right things. <laughs> yeah. nah, nah, nah. Be, be honest. Are they, they're, okay. Are they trustworthy? You know them. You know them. I don't know them. Okay. If you don't know someone, can you say trustworthy? If you don't know him. If what they're saying is true, then technically they're trustworthy. So it's true that God doesn't know that, that God regrets. He, he, he knew. Wait, what? Is it true God regrets? Yeah, he, he regrets. And he that's regrets. deficiency. Because you don't know the outcome of something. It's not deficiency. He just regrets. He, he feels like he didn't want to. He feels like he shouldn't have done that. Yeah, so when I say I should have done that, mean what I did was not good. Was not right. Yeah, it wasn't right. Yeah. So it's God made mistake. He's saying, he's saying he made a mistake. God made a mistake. Yeah. And you believe God's perfect? Yes. All the time? Yes. How God is perfect all the time, but at the same time make a mistake? Because the most high is perfect and he's allowed but to make mistakes. How? That's intellectually sound. That is how it's not intellectually sound. How you said that he's perfect, yeah, in knowledge, yeah. and then said he made a mistake by default. Someone who's well, perfect, wait, 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 by default, by someone who's perfect in knowledge, yeah. he doesn't make mistakes because knowledge he knows everything, he knows everything how it occurs, how it will happen. Understand that's yeah. why the, those writers, yeah. those writers, they like against God. That's why I'm showing you from eternal proof, you cannot trust them. From external proof, we don't even know them. For even from external proof, it's sufficient to say, Shamsi, you know what? You know, Habibi, Habibi, you know what? That's true. Uh, that's true. Making money out of it. You know, from, uh, you know what you should say, My, uh, Shamsi? You know what? You're making a good point here. Because any person with a sound reasoning, a natural inclination, would say, you know what? If I don't know those writers, how on earth can I trust them? And you know what he's chatting about? Salvation, bro. What we're talking about is not a joke thing. What we're talking about, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned the Quran. Ittaqu al-nar, allati waquduha al-nasu wal-hijara, u'iddat lil-kafirin. Yami, yami, that's the beautiful Quran. Allah speaking about this issue, fear the fire. Not any fire. The fire that its fuel will be stones, rocks, and human beings. It's not a joke. The greatest sin against God when you turn away from him. The biggest crime against God when you worship someone beside him. Yet, you are, God gives you intellect. That's what Allah in the Quran, Michael, you know what he said? Afala yaqilun. Afala yatadabbarun. Afala yatafakkarun. Do they not use their brain? Do they not use their intellect? Do they not reflect? 
that you don't know this guy and you don't, know, you don't even know he's trustworthy or not, but yet you trust in him about the most high. Come on, bro. Be honest, man. One lie is a joke. The most lie, this is a joke, man. High. Seriously, man. It's high, not a joke. One lie. One lie, I want good for you. Sorry if I'm trying to be, I'm not rude. Daddy, but one lie, I love good for you. One lie, I love good for you. I understand. Yes. But you know, no, the no, most no. high can be perfect. But remember, he made the creation, just the righteous creation, just like God's. That's what he said. He made the creation just like God's. Who so said they, that? Uh, the most high himself. But how do you know he said? Well, sorry. Well, uh, the, uh, the creator uh, inspired David to say that. Uh, uh, again, if we come to David, David, he was according to you in the Bible, David, he lied. Yeah. Okay. Abraham lied. Then he's no, I don't believe Abraham lied. <laughs> yes, he did. No, no, no wait, wait, wait. Yes, he did. Wait, 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 wait. Abraham did not lie. Yes, Abraham, no, no, in Arabic called Teoria. Teoria means, what means, like, for example, if someone call me, say, are you in speaker's corner? He said, are you in, in speaker's corner? Yeah. I can be in the park on the other side. I said, no, I'm not. Because yeah. I'm not in speaker's corner. I'm on the other side of speaker's corner. That called Teoria in Arabic, yes? Yeah. What we Abraham did, Teoria. Teoria, if someone call you, say, are you at home? Yeah. Or are you, uh, you say, I'm in the shower. Mm -hmm. You're not lying, you're in the shower, which yeah, is your home. Yeah, yeah. You understand? Yeah, Teoria yeah. Arabic. Abraham did Teoria. David, not, even, even lying for the sake of God, is something which is praiseworthy, you know, that's about that. Yeah. If someone comes to kill you or kill your mother, yeah. Islamically, I'm allowed to say, my mother, she's not here. I'm lying, no doubt about that. Yeah. To say, but uh, David, no, 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 no. So. David lied for the sake to sleep with a woman. Yes, I know. That's not for God's sake. Yeah, I know. Do you understand? That, that is that evil. Was a, that was a bad sin. Bad that sin. Was bad evil. Sin. I don't believe that. I believe David was a righteous man. He's I believe that. No, no, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. But, uh, no, no, no. He's a prophet of Allah. Yes. I don't believe a prophet of Allah, brother. If I tell you this man, he lied many times. He set up his own friend to be killed for the sake of sleeping with his uh, with his wife. Yeah. He, he, he killed many children. Would you allow him to teach your child? Okay. Now, are we more wiser than the Creator? That's why from the wisdom of the Creator, the Most High, when he chose the prophets and messengers, he chose those who were known to be trustworthy amongst the nation. Mm -hmm. Truthful. Why? Because the logic dictates that if they are known to be trustworthy, truthful, their nations cannot utilize the excuse yeah. of them being evil to reject them. They will listen to them more likely. Because if someone, imagine Michael, yeah? We're from the same area, from the same ends, yeah? Mm -hmm. Someone comes to us, he's known to be a liar, mm -hmm. evil. Mm -hmm. And he says, you know what, I'm a prophet of God. Mm -hmm. You're going to be, well, hang on. You should get it worse. Mm -hmm. But if someone is a trustworthy, honest, truthful, he says, he says, no, let me double check with him. Mm -hmm. So he went to Islam, Allah in the Quran. That's why the Quran was revealed also. One of the hikmah, the wisdom, to defend the honor of David, to defend the honor of the mother of Jesus. Mother of Jesus was a righteous woman. She was not adulterer. Nah, JC was a pagan. No, the mother of Jesus. Oh, right, okay. She was an evil woman? No, I'm, I'm saying JC is a pagan. Who's JC? Uh, Jesus or... No, no, Isa. We're calling Isa. No. Oh. Isa, Isa, Isa. Isa? Yeah, we're speaking English. So I said Jesus. Oh, yeah, I'm saying... Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. yeah, yeah, yeah. In the Bible, they call... Yeah, he's, he's yeah, a yeah. pagan. No, I don't believe the no. son of God can... The Messiah that you believe, was he... I, I don't, I, no, I don't believe in the Messiah. So you don't believe Jesus? No. 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 I'm not a Christian. So, no, 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 I'm not Hebrew, I'm not the language. No problem, no problem, no problem, no problem. No, okay, no problem. Regardless who you are, this book cannot be trusted, full stop. You can't trust it. Now, brother, how can you trust a book? You don't know who wrote it. I know who wrote it. What's his name? The, the, the manuscript, not, the, not this one, manuscript. Yeah, except uh, uh, Prince Philodemy of, uh, of Greece and Egypt, he wrote it. In no, no, around, no. 20, around 2050 BC. 2050 BC, how many, yeah. more, how many years after Moses? Uh, a very long time. For a long time. Yeah. Can you trust that he said what he said is true? Yes, because they were uh, just, they were they were translated by seventy two Jews at the time. Can you trust them? Do you know them by name? I don't know them by name. Yeah, but see that's what I'm saying. You Look, know, we keep playing. The Bible was written yeah. Yeah, with the inspiration of God. No, no, I don't read this. Are you Muslim, brother? No, I'm, Are you I'm Christian. Christian. Yeah, Christian Bible before. Yeah. We we'll come to you for a second. Yeah. What I'll say to you. Um, Israel, uh, Israelite. You're Israelite, okay. Israelite. So you believe so your language? Egypt, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Old Testament. And, I, the, and the Apocrypha as well. Ah, uh, you believe in the Old Testament. But my question is, listen, what I'm saying to you. Yeah. You want to worship God, so that's about that. Worship the Most you High. You want to worship yeah. the Most High, the yeah. Creator of everything. Yes. Of so the correct yeah. way to worship Him, yes, yeah, one. The correct way to worship, and it's perfect. Yes. The one that you are looking for to worship yeah. is in Islam, not in this book. Yes, you know, no, I just showed, no, I showed him how. No, you just no, agreed no, that you just agreed. No, wait, no. you just agreed that God made a mistake. And mistake 
Yeah, you touch this, this guy's absent. Man, you can see anyway. Mistake, like a brother Gemma mentioned, it goes back to the definition of knowledge. Because why you make a mistake? Because you didn't know the outcome of something, you don't have a knowledge. You don't he know how it's going to... He knew the outcome. So there's no mistake, he knew. Because why? A mistake, when you do something, you know, or it goes and gets the truth, the reality. God doesn't allow... God... God he, Technically, he didn't make a mistake. Ah, uh, again, it's changed. No, no, no. no. Yeah, no yeah. Another example. Yeah. Eternity. Eternity. Life. Yeah. Can someone who's forever living... Yeah. Uh, become created. Uh, become we created. Yeah. Can he likewise die? No. The most ah, so that's contradiction. Uh, with the example of uh, perfect knowledge. Yeah. Perfect knowledge incorporates all forms of knowledge. Small, big, past, present. Yeah. yeah, yeah Unfortunately, yeah. the example you gave shows that he did know something. No, so so the okay. definition of knowledge cannot be applied to well, him. Well, okay, now I... Because I was taking some time to like actually understand. Unless you want to invent a new definition of knowledge. No, 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 no. Okay, he said repented. That's the only way repented, to get out of that. Repented doesn't necessarily mean a mistake. <laughs> no, repent. No, 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 Repent, what is repent? Repent when you do something and you regret. That's why you repent. No, 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 that's not only you know, in, 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 That's not the only meaning. Yeah, right. Should we go when to the actually should we go to the lexicon? Go to lexicon, go. Okay. Actually, let, let me to repent from exactly what you were doing. That's repent. Repent doesn't mean that when you do evil that you change. No. That's so, not the meaning. That's not only the meaning of repent. repent. Uh, be grieved. Be grieved over one's past ah. and seek forgiveness. Seek yeah. forgiveness, let's yeah. go seek forgiveness. Yeah, see, see, it's just the, the way of the yeah. actual language. Wait, 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 I'm speaking to him. You can, look, look, I'm from Africa as well, you know. Yeah. I'm a high person as well. So calm down, let me speak, please. Yes, I'm from North Africa. We're more hyper. So let me speak first, please. Let me speak. Yes. Why? Because Africans are crazy. When they come together, it's, it's going to be uh, crazy stuff. What I would say to you, you know African, you're too calm, brother. I don't know what's going to happen to you. You become English fish and chips. Anyway, no problem. What I'm saying to you, for seeking forgiveness, you, when you seek something, what is it? You are asking it from someone. Sorry. How God is going to seek forgiveness? In the, bro, con in the context. Bro, he, well, he he grieve. Bro, that's it. Grieve. That's all. Grieve. grieve. What is grief mean? Sorrow. Yes, yes sorrow. Because he's done something which he regrets. He, no, he, that Samuel uh, no done, way, you know, you know. Samuel done the mistake. No, 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 no. Samuel yeah. done the mistake no, no. and he was like, oh, no, 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 but I calm down. To, you're supposed to be perfect yeah, unto me and you made a mistake. No, it's God, he regrets his own mistake, not Samuel's no, mistake. No, okay, no, no. he says, I, 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 the Lord, regret for choosing who? Saul. Who chose who? Who? Who chose who? Chose who? Not, not no, no, I'm asking you. Who chose who? The most high chose. Cho chose uh, Saul. Yeah. God, he said, he greatly regrets for choosing. So the action. Yeah. No, no. Repent for choosing. Choosing who? So God is regretting his own action. Why? Not regret, because. Not regret. Sorrow. 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 Why he's. Even sorrow. Again, what is sorrow? Sorrow when you. Yeah, he's, sad. he's sad about what he's done. He's sad about what he's done. Yeah. But if it, was, if, if, it was right, if it was the right decision, would you be sad about it? Yes. Because I mean, uh, no. 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 You'll be saying the wrong decision. Uh, yes. 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 So it was, it was wrong. Well, like deep down. No, no, Michael, Michael. Wait, wait, wait. Well, like, wait, wait. Deep down, because we have taken now psychological arguments. I'm using intellectual arguments. Now, as the Quran does, I'm going to go to psychological arguments. Well, why? Deep down, you know what we say is the truth. And it makes sense. However, because of this, the social factors, it's affecting you, thinking, you know what? How am I going to leave something? For a long time, I believe is the truth. And now you want me to make that step to the truth, even though it makes sense to me. And what I believe doesn't make any sense. What I will say to you, Michael: Go home, think about, go for, think about, uh, about it. Is in the channel, read it and everything. When you look, look I'm going to show you something about Islam, which no religion. Do you agree that with what's happening to the world, we are suffering? Yes, uh, a lot of people are suffering. No, but but uh, there's a small amount of people who are not suffering. No, I, we agree with that, no doubt. Yeah, yeah. But what's yeah. happening around the world? Around the world, there's a lot of depression, yeah. a lot of stress, yeah. a lot of murder, a lot because of alcohol, because of interest, a lot of because of gambling. Part. Yeah. When you look to Islam and Christianity and yeah. even the Old Testament, none of this religion gives solution to mankind. Islam came to preserve five things. Islam came to preserve five things. Listen to this, yeah? Islam came to preserve religion. What does that mean? In Islam, paganism is forbidden. Polytheism is forbidden. Agnostic forbidden. 
Islam, there is many barriers surrounding the oneness of God. We're not allowed to pray to Prophet Muhammad. A man came to Prophet Muhammad He said, oh messenger of Allah, if Allah will, and you will. He said, don't say that, because my will is under Allah's will. Don't make it equal to Allah. Even in the language, he said, say, إِذَا شَاءَ اللَّهِ ثُمَّ شِئْتَ If Allah wills, then you will. What Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu is doing here is protecting the, the realm of oneness of God. A man came to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, group of people, they start praising him too much. He said, don't praise me too much, don't, don't over praise me. Like the Christians over praise Jesus and they made him a son of God or God, yes? You can, no, over, no. you can over praise the creator. No, no, Prophet Muhammad is talking about Prophet oh, Muhammad okay. you, you, Of course, you know, whatever you praise the creator, we do not over praise him. Yeah, and he's yeah, the best yeah. creation, yeah. Alaihi Wasallam. But yet, look at look at his humbleness. He said, don't over praise me. Yes, he stopped them. Okay, also, likewise, when a man came to him, even there's different about this narration, he bound down to Prophet Muhammad from Yemen. He said, oh, messenger of Allah, I saw people in Yemen, Christians, bowing down to their kings. You are better than them. He said, no. Don't bow down to no one except to the creator of everything. That shows you this man, when you, look at his, when you look at his teaching, no way this teaching came except from the creator. Islam came to preserve intellect. That's why alcohol and drugs forbidden. Islam came to preserve wealth. That's why interest and gambling is forbidden. Islam came to preserve marriage. That's why fornication, adultery is forbidden. Islam came to preserve life. That's why killing someone unjustly is forbidden. Hold on. Yeah. You said that it, uh, it takes away fornication, right? Islam, yeah, it takes away fornication. But it says here... Can you let me finish here? Can you come there? Okay, all right. Yeah, we'll come there, no problem. All right. But pay attention, please. Don't pay like you're going to try to catch me. No, you cannot, no, no, you cannot just, catch me. It just popped Because Islam is the truth. It popped up in my mind. No, okay, okay, no problem, Michael. So when you look at these five things that Islam came to preserve, yeah. the opposite of the alcohol, paganism, when you start worshiping God based upon the wrong information, when you start uh, interest, all of these things destroy societies. Alcohol is destroying societies around the world. Gambling is destroying societies around the world. Drugs is destroying societies around the world. All of these destroying societies on the world. In our societies around the world, it's not just allowed, they're propagated. And the only religion that is not just for the people, for the government as well, is Islam. So those who are in power, or they are making money all of it. Even they are making money from the suffering of the people. So what they do, they look at Islam as a threat for them, for their business. For example, imagine we're from London, and I own this, all of these businesses, gambling, interest. Then you come as a Muslim, teach your people about Islam. Even though I know you're a good person, you want good for the individuals and for the society, but because I'm making money from the suffering of the people, what I'm gonna do? I'm, I'm a rich man. I'm gonna utilize my wealth to make you look bad, even though you're a good person. And this is what's happening now. This, way, this war, dirty war, around the world, that has been waged against Islam. You know why it's been waged against Islam? Because the only religion that is standing firm in front of the tyrant is Islam. No Judaism, no Christianity, none of that. That's why you see here in the park, Jews, the Christians, atheists, all of them coming together, even though they disagree with each other, fighting against Islam. Because they know Islam is the best way of life. Even though the Muslims are weak, but yet the fast growing religion on the face of the earth is what is Islam, especially in the Western world. Do you know who's doing the job? Not me or Jamal or the brothers here, because we are weak. It's Allah Jalla wa ala. And that is a prophecy that Allah mentioned the Quran 1,400 years ago. Huwa alladhi arsala rasoolahu bil huda wa deen al haqi liudhirahu ala deen kulleh walau kariha al kafirun. It's Allah who sent his prophet Muhammad with Islam in order for Islam to prevail the other ways of life and religions, even if disbelievers dislike it. And we can see there's many barriers. Watch, wake up in the morning in newspaper, read the newspaper, news in Australia, America, France, Belgium, everywhere. Muslim done this, Islam is this. No about Christianity, no about Judaism. Why, why is Islam, why is Islam? Because they know Islam is going against the agenda. And those who have power, they know if people accept Islam, they will turn against them and they don't want that. You see, so we look, Islam is the best way of life. No one has a solution except Muhammad who couldn't read and write. But yet we have these perfect, I mean these best, these, uh, these uh, politicians who study in the best universities around the world, Cambridge, Oxford, they cannot resolve the problems that we are facing. But who can resolve it? 
Al Mustafa, the Prophet Muhammad, in Quran and the prophetic tradition. You don't have that in your book, no way. I think I do, but. You don't? Show me. Alright, um, I've got one question. Yeah, go on. Alhamdulillah. About your, uh, about your if you don't take share, give a sword. Safe, safe. Sword. Um, it says here in chapter 78, verse 31 to 36. Please explain this to me. No, no problem. Where are you, Michael? No problem. Indeed, for the righteous is attainment, gardens and grapevines, and full-breasted or pear-shaped companions of equal age and a full cup. No ill speech, or they hear therein, or any falsehood, as reward from your Lord, a generous gift made you. So I never hear. I'm not saying that. إن المتقين في جنات ونعيم فهدا وقلوب anyway I know anyway just go. So from what I've taken from that verse here, it's basically I'm just confused how some being so great, so powerful, so holy, so magnificent can focus on something which is so vain. Why would it focus on you know giving? Woman and uh, 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 women yeah. with pear shaped breasts, yeah. Well, yeah, like, no, you know it's not, mean? it's not, it's not. See what you've done now, that is not vain. that's vain for you, but for men, it's not vain. That's why that was caused problem amongst men, money and women. Yeah. So, for a man, woman is very, very like a woman, how hold a big states in, in, in men, yeah. You know, men love women, yeah. you understand. Yeah, so, course. now to say that is vain, it's not vain for, for the creation of God. The creation, what Allah is showing mankind, that if you stay away from fornication. And you follow God's teaching. Yeah. There is many, many, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, many rewards for you. Nice woman in paradise. Likewise for a woman, yeah, there'll be lust. no, 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 no. Lust. We men has a lust. That's not God. As a man has a lust. Yeah, but we have to cut away lust. No, the lust is blameworthy, but it's praiseworthy. Okay, lust, man, is, lust can be blame, can be praiseworthy. Don't you love women? To marry her? Uh, yeah, I do. Is that lust? That's not lust. What's that? That's the, that's, At first. That's, that's health, mate, because I want to procreate and create offspring. No, 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 very good word. No, I did that. Okay, no, that's we, what the women we don't know what to do. We don't, we don't. What to create offspring? That's no, no, it. no, 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 we don't that's believe just, no, no, that's it. No, no, no. No, a woman, no, 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 no. For sexual desire, never said sex partner. No, 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 wait, wait. wait. said, I will make a helpmate for Adam. No, wait, 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 wait. That's wait. what it said. Wait, wait, wait. All right. Would you not desire to marry a woman that you like? Of course. Is that not desire? Yeah, desire, but it's not so sexual desire, is it? What is that? A human intellectual desire? Yeah, Why well, are you gonna yeah, listen? You like this? I'm like that. That's debate. No, Come on, be like, no, no, no. You know this down. You're making no sense. No, 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 would you marry Hatun? Who's Hatun? The, the hyena of Speaker's no. Corner. No, I don't know who that is. Let me show you. Watch, watch. Let me show you. We, Muslim put you under. Because why? Islam. Islam goes in line with reality. Anyone that tries to go against Islam is going against reality. I'm going to show you hyena and tell me if you want to marry her. Hatun, the most. Every man, every man that has intellect doesn't like her. But I think you want to marry her as well. I don't know, I don't know. He doesn't know. Wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me see. No, but it, obviously it has, she has to be righteous. She has to be righteous. She has to be righteous. She's, a, she's always shouting. No, okay, that's not shout. That's not shout. Yeah. I mean, that's not righteous. She's not righteous. Yeah. Would you marry her? If she shout, if she's righteous, then and and if she if she has a desire for me, then yeah, of course. And Probably. so you don't marry. So no, 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 no. You know, no, no. She, she, but she's allowed uh, to have desire then. Yeah, desire, but not sexual desire. What desire she will have for you? The, to, to, to come to her? <laughs> desire to... But lie, you're desire playing around. Desire, desire to create offspring. Okay, uh, how would that occur? Okay, that's how it occurs. And, and have like a how would that occur? What the, how, how would that occur? By? By uh, getting to know one another. So by going to say, hello, hello, you have children? No. <laughs> you got to get to know each other a, little, a, lot, a lot more than that. Yeah, go on, go on, tell us, please. Why is more than that? Are you sexual? Know? No, no, no. You try to make it like bad for Islam to have sexual intercourse. It's desire. not bad to have sexual intercourse. It's, it's great because you can have offspring. So where's the problem then? So where's the problem then? No, but you're... But no, it's not only for offspring. No, 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 wait, wait. It is only for offspring. Wait, let me finish you first. In, in, in he never said... Uh, Michael, Michael, the in paradise... never said sexual partner. He in said paradise, help mates. No problem. Mates. In paradise, a man has desires. We're not going to uh, compromise. Because now, to say that is wrong, uh, tell me how intellectually is wrong. Doesn't make... Uh, look, every man here, even non-Muslims, when you tell them, listen, if you stay from the evil of this life, 
then God has many things for you. Likewise, for a woman, you understand? Have a beautiful woman for you. He has a nice house for you. This house that you see, because a man, when he sees nice houses, what happened to him? He get deceived. Mm -hmm. So God is telling him, I know I create you to love these things, but however, this is a test. Mm -hmm. If you be patient, there is a, a point. Sorry. There is something better than it. Mm -hmm. You cannot utilize this. Our respect here. Yeah? You cannot utilize Allah mentioning to us in the Noble Quran about the rewards for the believers, male or female, in paradise, to say, that doesn't make any sense. No way, bro. Don't say, say that. No, no, but that's what you want. No, but it's not vain for us. It's not vain. Is it vain for you? No, it's no, not vain. No, no, Maybe no, no. I need to check you, man. I need to check you, man. Okay, no problem. I'm just saying according to the Bible. It's not. I'm gonna show you. Leviticus. Watch, watch, watch. Habibi. Habibi. No, no, no. Let us. Let us. Let us. Let us accept the Bible. Let me please. In Leviticus, God said, "Kill every woman that slept to the man, and keep the young girls." For yourself listen to what is god saying yeah he said kill the woman that slept with the man what's wrong with the woman slept with the man if she's married uh, her virginity is gone but marriage uh, do you have a problem with marriage no of course but according to your bible there's a problem with marriage god is telling them even if she's married because with a man regardless you should kill her that doesn't make any sense but keep the no to keep the old woman for yourself no keep, keep the young girls for yourself uh, why are you gonna play football with them <laughs> okay, ta table uh, tennis okay where, where's the saying Levin? i'll just show you man you don't know so why should i look you god why god's focusing on little girls huh? why you god is I'm focused ready, ah, okay i'll show you level tickets bro you don't even know you see muslims know quran we know your book yeah. we know hindu book we know the Ar argos <laughs> Catalog, uh, Leviticus. You know, sometimes it's good to joke or something, but it's a yeah, serious matter. Yeah. You know, because uh, some people say Muslims are like, yeah, Leviticus. Uh, the, the seven or something. Let me show you. Uh, again, this guy with this old English. Let me get. Yeah, yeah, brother, you're, you're some old English language. So you don't know Hatun, yeah? No, no. Alhamdulillah, you're a good person now. <laughs> so no, you're not good, good, good. So you need to become Muslim, become very good. Uh, but hyena, hyena, bro, no one likes her. I call hyena. Leviticus, okay. Kill every woman that slept with men. Yeah, sorry, numbers, sorry. Uh, uh, my, my mistake. Numbers. Which, which is the Torah? Numbers. Book of Numbers. Uh, 30, 31, 17. Now, therefore, kill every male among the little ones, and kill every woman who has known a man by laying down with him. But all the young girls who have not known man by laying down with him, keep a life for yourselves. Why are you God focusing on the little girls? By the way, I'm not going to say I have a problem with that or something, because I don't know, maybe that was a tough law from the Creator, but I know the Creator is the most just. You understand? Wait, which, which verse? Which verse? Uh, the digital. 31, 17, 18. Oh, okay. They say if your house is made out of a glass, do not put the stones outside because you're going to break your own house. Mm -hmm. Even when you children die, you are a man by lying with him. Keep a life for yourselves and you abide without the camp seven days. Oh. Oh. Oh, I see, uh, I see. So why you got his focus? I like how I am. He accepts it. He accepts it. When he said, it's because in, in the apocrypha, it's yeah. In the yeah. yeah. There's many ways to become Muslim. <laughs> but lie, like, look, you seem a nice guy, inshallah ta'ala. But what I would say, people. but I would say to you, look, you can shahadah become Muslim. Well, lie, like, I demonstrated to you with the sound, with the sound reasoning, with the natural uh, uh, proof. With the, with the, the eternal proofs, external proofs, before that the Quranic proofs, that you cannot trust this book. And you it doesn't make any sense, even about David, how a prophet of God set him up his own friend for the sake to be killed, for the, to be killed for the sake of his wife. When God only trusts those who are known to be trustworthy, trustworthy truthful. The other one wrote, Prophet Lut. When Lut got what his daughters did to him, they got him drunk. But in the Quran, none of these stories. These stories been written and attributed to the Prophet of God because those who wrote it, they have a hatred toward the Prophet of God because they were affected by paganism. Even Jeremiah 8, 8, he said, how can you claim you have the Torah with you when the scribes, that the pen of the scribes have changed it? Even Jeremiah says that to them. And Jeremiah, when you read it, all of it, what he's doing, rebuking the Israelites for they've been pagans, 
for them they've been killers of the prophets and the Quran mentioned that by the way Quran mentioned that so you are following trusting people Jeremiah even Yeshua, you call him Yeshua, whatever you're gonna call him. No, no, and, and whatever you're gonna call him. I'm, I'm not with, I'm not okay, that. forget that. Even even you go to other prophets of God, yeah. all of them they were rebuking the Israelites. Even was his name. I, I, I tell you something, yeah? Did you know the miracle of Isaiah? What was the miracle of Isaiah? Uh, what did he ascend when he ascended up to heaven? No, no, what was the miracle of Isaiah on the earth? I don't remember that one. I don't remember. The miracle of Isaiah, when God he said to God, give me a sign. Yeah. And, and Isaiah, what is he called? The prince of the prophets. Prince of, of the prophets, yeah, he's called that, yeah. You know what he signed? The sign of Isaiah, I don't believe that. For him to be walking naked in Jerusalem oh, for two years. Yeah, 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 yeah. So God, what, what kind of miracle is this? He can walk naked in the street. How miracle was, a man to walk to naked? The, it was to show the unclean. Yeah, it was to show the unclean. I don't believe that. It was to show the unclean. But there's children the there. But there's children there. There's the people there. Yeah. Bro, would you do that? Would you what? would you walk what? naked in front of children and women? Of course not. If are you, you no no? Said, you no no. Before that, are you more honourable and more respectful than uh, Isaiah? No. Are you more honourable? Bro, bro, that's no. I'm showing you by complete. Bro, please, serious man, don't trust this book. I'm showing you how on the earth the Almighty telling the prophets of God is a sign to walk naked for three years in the the the, the land of Jerusalem in front of children and women. That's yeah, not a sign. They were being the people of Israel were being unclean. Again, you're justifying this evil action. It's not evil action. Well, like, it's not evil action when it comes by the most high. When it comes by the most high, nothing can it's not no, evil. No, 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 no. Wait, wait. Let me let me clarify something to you. There is something called universal knowledge. Mm -hmm. You know what is a universal knowledge? Yeah, universal law, universal law. No, knowledge, universal knowledge, every human being has it. If every human being has it, what does that necessitate? Necessitate, we are created with it. You understand? From that which is called al-fitra. Al-fitra natural inclination. Naturally we know what is good and what is bad. Naturally we know that. That's why the Islamic revelation, or when I say Islamic revelation, every prophet and messengers, when they came to their people, they never came to with that which opposed their sound reasoning, their natural inclination, because those tools, which they were created with it. God gave it to us, or the Most High Creator gave it to us, to analyze the truth. So no way for our tools to go and guess that. So it is no way for any person with a sound reasoning, except the Most High will say to a prophet, walk in the street naked because you show uh, uh, it's a sign of God. Hey, you don't know the ways of the Creator. Who can know the uh, uh, Sound reasoning. We have every human being, bro. Well, are you justifying? I'll give you another one. Shall okay. I give you another one? Right. I'll show you that you cannot trust this book. Okay, Aaron, Prophet Aaron. Yeah. In the Quran, you know who made the people worship the cow? It's not Aaron. Is the, 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 the people? Yeah, the, that's what it says here as well. Let's go. That's what it says. Let's go. Let's go. No, he, no, uh, no, let's go. No, we already let's know. Go. We already know. No, we don't know what. No, we already know. We know what. What happened? No, what happened? What? Uh, Aaron created the car. And the car, I see. So yeah, who created? Because he was weak. He no, we don't believe that. That's a lie, Angus Aaron. I'm a prophet of Allah. What lie? What I will tell you? Eh? What I will tell Michael? Go home. You have Quran in English. Uh, no, but I can, I can use the in, in, What would you do lie? Look, be honest. Mm -hmm. Have objective goal. This doesn't matter what we're talking about. Maybe you smile, joke here and there, but it's a serious matter. Yeah, yeah. Compare the stories of the prophets and the yes. messengers yeah. in the Quran, mm -hmm. how they've been respected, mm -hmm. defended. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the proofs that Prophet Muhammad is a true prophet, mm -hmm. that when he was in Medina, mm -hmm. many people of Medina, they were Jewish, Israelites, mm -hmm. yeah? Mm -hmm. They rejected Jesus, okay? He had no interest to defend Jesus. Yes, he was defending him. You know why? If he was a liar, a liar always focused on getting more followers. Yeah. But why he didn't care? Because if, if the, the Yahud, the Israelite in Medina accepted him, all of them, the Arab pagans used to look up to the Israelites. Naturally, they'll follow them too. But Prophet Muhammad showed you, what is upon the messenger to convey the message. What he used to do, he used to defend it. Jesus, Isa, even though there was no need of him to defend him, rather if he was a liar, he would have agreed with the Israelites. But what he showed us, no, he was a true man. He was a trustworthy because he was conveying what the Most High told him. And I will give you another event to show you Muhammad, he's a true prophet. Alayhi salatu salam. Prophet Muhammad during his lifetime, alayhi salatu salam, a eclipse happened. The same day when his son Ibrahim died. Okay? So his followers, his disciples, 
the church to connect the dots. Eclipse, Ibrahim died, the son of the prophet. They say it's a miracle. Because they're not familiar what was the reason of eclipse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If he was a, if he was a liar, what he would have done? You see, I told you, look what happened. Because why? He's going to utilize the ignorance to manipulate them. But what he did, he said, no, what happened there has nothing to do with, has nothing to do with no one's life. No one's death is from the most high. When you see it, praise the creator. And when he gave a talk about that on that day, he never started speaking about his son. He started speaking about the most high. And I will compare this with the Christopher Columbus. Did you know that Christopher Columbus, when he went to South America, and the, the Native Americans, they saw a cliff. They said, why there's a cliff? Christopher Columbus told them, because God is angry with you. So give me your items. So look what he did. He utilized the ignorance to manipulate them. By the prophet of Allah. He utilized the ignorance not to manipulate them. To show them that, go to your creator, the most high. That is not the nature of Allah, wallahi. Make sense? Kind of, kind of. It makes sense, dude, that Wallahi. Kind of, kind of. He don't knows. Wallahi, don't fight him, man. Right. Wallahi. Last question, last question. For you, anytime. All but right. what's the time? But by the way, you work for home office or something. Nah, nah, nah. Security. <laughs> security. You know, all of us have no papers nah, here, nah, Algerians. Nah, nah. <laughs> no, nah, Africans, nah, no nah, papers. Now, nah, nah. nah, private security. If anything happens, I know what happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom, no problem. You know what I mean? Nah, no problem. But, you are so, safe here. Yeah, no, no, no. no, no. no. Um, so, basically, why in the Quran, yeah, what, I mean, what in the Quran, what, what does it say about, you know, stuff like, which we see on a day-to-day -day basis, like the shape of the earth, what, what, what? Is in it, the Quran, is it, is it a sphere? No, in the Quran, look, in the Quran, there's no clear verse which indicates mm. it's a flat or sphere, mm. you know, there's no clear verse, you know, right. however, some scholars in the past, Ibn Taymiyyah, Ibn Hazm al-Zahiri, mm. one of the great scholars of the past, Ibn Hazm al-Zahiri had mistakes, some misguided in his, I believe, mm. to clarify that, but our scholars say can use him in some issues, yeah? Mm. Uh, not a layman, scholars said that. Okay, so him, he mentioned there was ijma', ijma' means consensus among the Muslim mm. that the earth is a sphere. Mm -hmm. However, there is other scholars in the past believe the earth is flat, mm -hmm. you understand? Mm -hmm. But in Islam, we don't pay attention to that. Why, do you know why? why, why? Because as a Muslim, if I, don't, if, I, if, I, if I die, but I still worship Allah alone, without any partners, following his teaching, then, me not knowing about the earth shape will not affect my belief. What Allah told us about this creation, always, always Allah says, Inna fi khalqi samawati wal ard, wa ikhtilafi al-layli wa al-nahari, la ayatin, li uli al-albabi, alladhina yadkuruna allaha, qiyaman, wa quudan, wa ala junubihim, wa yatafakkaruna fi khalqi samawati wal ard. Rabbana, ma khalaqta hadha batila, subhanaka faqina adaban ma. Allah mentioned within, within the creation of the heavens and the earth and the alteration of a day and night, it is a science for people to understand it, to reflect. No way this is a beautiful creation. No way this tremendous creation is created without any purpose. Glorify the Most High Allah, far away from its imperfection. To say the Most High, Allah Jalla wa Ala, the Almighty, create this beautiful creation without any purpose, that's called imperfection. And Allah said, Subhanallah. Subhanallah means Allah is far away from any type of imperfection. Understand? So this creation for us to reflect upon it, likewise to use the resources to benefit ourselves and use it as a means to get closer to Allah. Okay, make sense? Makes sense. Alhamdulillah. Shahadatan now. Oh yeah. Inshallah. You know what? Look, as a man that I spoke to you and I really like the way you the vibe and everything, you wanna take my number? I'll take your Facebook. Facebook. My Facebook? I don't have Facebook here. <laughs> oh, Are you my Facebook? Give me a book yeah, yeah. to give him the face. <laughs> or oh, the back of the book. How about the back of the book? I'm joking. Yeah, okay, that's actually a joke. That's actually a joke. I'll do a joke. mind, he would use it after. No, 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 Copyright. No, no, no. You know, he always had to say my joke is dead, but he used it after in his house. <laughs> claiming that he's. <laughs> Copyright, brother. Copyright. Okay. I'm going to give you my number. Huh? I have a Facebook, but it's not my one. It's, it, okay, I'll, it's that one. I'll give it to yeah. you. The brothers will uh, tell me, or oh, I will check it as well. Right. Shamsi. It's Shamsi. Here we go. That's the one. That's the page, yeah? Yeah. All right, no problem. And send me a message. Right, that's me, see? Oh, okay, cool, 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 cool. All right. Nice, that, nice one, brother.